Now, when you download the software and extract it, regardless of the version, you will get four main directories, MIPO, Data Loader, Data Gateway, and Data Store. And if you take the scripts as written, you'll get the defaults as they are noted here. And that's what we're going to do today. So the first schema to install is the MIPO schema. And in the database directory within the MIPO folder, you will have an install.sql script. To install, you run the SQL plus command, logging on as the system user and calling the install script. Now the default behavior with the script, the first thing it will do is drop the user that the script is running for, in this case, MIPO. Again, this is expected. And in the case of a fresh install, you know, there's not going to be anything to drop. But if you were to run an installation and do something incorrectly or want to just redo it, you can just call the install script and it will drop everything that's in there for that user. That way you don't have to keep track of all the different objects that the user may own. Now you see output from the script being echoed to the screen and occasionally you will note some ORA errors. In the case of a fresh install, as long as you were doing the installation as the Oracle system user, you know, these errors for the most part can be ignored because the way the script works is it tries to drop objects like tables, sequences, etc. And in a fresh install, they don't exist. And so the ORA error that is echoed is just the message saying that the objects doesn't exist. And you can review the uh, MIPO installation log when the script completes. Of the four schema installs, the MIPO install will take the longest, but it shouldn't take more than a handful of minutes. Again, this video tutorial, most of the output has been uh, limited so that we can get it done in a limited amount of time and get right to uh, the points of the installation. So here, the MIPO install is completed. And if we quit out of SQL Plus and do a directory listing, you can see that there is an installation log indeed written. After completing the MIPO install, the data loader install is next. Each schema install script is called install.sql in its relative directory. We're going to show you here uh, the variables at the top of the script that you can edit, but with a default installation as being documented here, we're not going to make any changes. So we're going to call SQL Plus again, logging on as the Oracle system user, and call that install.sql script. Starting with the data loader install, it will check at the end whether there are any invalid objects or not. And you'll note here, coming up after uh, you get the, again, the standard message that's dropping the particular schema, you'll see that there are no objects that are invalid. And that's good to see. And because there are none, we can proceed with the gateway install, which is the next schema to install. Exiting SQL Plus, we will see that there is the data loader install log that you can again review to see the different output from the script. Here for the gateway install you can see the install.sql script. In the background here we're going to pull up and show you again the variables that you can modify but that we are not going to modify for this example. So we're going to call SQL Plus, logging on as the Oracle system user, and calling the install script. And again, the output that we are looking for is that there are zero objects that are invalid. And again, that is the case here. So we've got three of the four schemas done, and now we're going to do the data store schema. Quoting out of SQL Plus, we will see a directory listing shows us the gateway install log. Again, you can... Um, edit or review that if you if you would like. And finally in the data store database directory again we have the install.sql script. I'm going to call that with SQL plus. Logging on is the Oracle system user and calling the install script. Of the four schema installs, this is the quickest one. It will be done in a matter of seconds. And again, zero objects were invalid, which is what we're looking for. So all four schemas have installed successfully. And with that, we are done.